Well, let's turn our attention to tech and joining me live is Tech Guide editor Stephen Fennig. We won't talk about the bunnies. We'll talk about the NBN going to <laughs> offer faster fixed wireless broadband speeds in regional areas. <laughs> yeah, good morning, Janie. Yeah, let's leave the rabbitos for another time. <laughs> There is going to be uh, so, some improvement here. The NBN fixed wireless network, 24,000 homes in regional parts of Australia are now going to receive those much faster speeds. Uh, so this is part of this $750 million initiative that's being rolled out. So they've targeted 24,000 homes at the moment. They've got, they got, mind, uh, they've got in mind another 120,000 homes and businesses that will also have this upgrade. Now, this was focused in on on those areas that were in the satellite footprint. So fixed wireless is a little bit like a cellular service that they're, they've got their towers in these regional areas and the homes then have a receiver to get to get that signal to get those faster speeds much faster than they would be on, on satellite. So uh, good to see that the NBN is actually addressing these these issues for regional customers because they haven't got the they haven't got the connections that we obviously have here in the city with fibre to the premises, fibre to the curb. Uh, so this is a, a massive boost for them, for their speeds. And so they're, they're going to be comparable to what we were seeing in, in city areas, and it's only going to improve. So that starting with 24,000 homes and businesses and expanding that to 120,000 as part of that three quarters of a billion dollar initiative. All right, now this is an interesting one. Telstra and CBA, they have partnered to protect customers from phone scams. That's right. Yeah, this is this is a big big play here because you think about what's required for a scam. Well, first they need to contact the customer, so that's the, the, the potentially the Telstra network. What else do they need to complete the scam? They need a, the bank. They need your money. So it's great to see that Telstra and the Commonwealth Bank have combined here. So they've got this new initiative called Scam Indicator. So it basically takes Telstra's learnings from their Cleaner Pipes initiative. We've spoken in the past about Telstra's ability to filter out scam text messages and emails. So they've got a pretty good directory of where these scammers are coming from. So combine that with the, the CBA's customer base. So CBA can now access a Telstra API that tells them then if there's a call going on from a suspicious person that they've got on their record. So this is to prevent large amounts of money being transferred over the phone uh, which, which is which is becoming, unfortunately, all too common with these latest scams. So it's these two companies that are coming together to help protect their respective customers. The early, early pilot program indicated this could save up to $20 million in scams uh, when, it's in, when it's implemented. And finally, Stephen, Apple has confirmed the date for Worldwide Developers Conference 2023. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's going to kick off on June the 5th. I think it'll be early morning, June 6th here in Australia. And this is their annual developers conference. So this is where we learn Apple's new features for the software that runs the iPhone, the iPad, the Mac, Apple TV, Apple Watch. So developers really keen to see these latest versions of the software. It is unfortunately going to still be an online event for the developers, but Apple is still having a, an in-person event at Apple Park that developers can actually apply to, to join. So it's very limited numbers, but the Worldwide Developers Conference itself, which include the daily sessions and, and being able to, to interact with Apple engineers, that is still going to take place online and give developers still a, a, a easy and free access to all those resources. But uh, it is going to be interesting to see what Apple has up its sleeve in terms of new features. We're up to iOS 17 with the iPhone, so we're really keen to hear what the new features are and what the new and these developers, what they can do with those new features. All right, Stephen Fenning, always great to chat to you. Thank you. Thanks, Janie.